What's good? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We back with the Boston Clinic once again. We in the building. And um, don't forget to check that description for this article link. Shout out to Boxing Scene. And uh, Eddie Hearn says that uh, Gary O'Sullivan is potentially out of the running for the Danny Jacobs fight April 28th. On the undercard, they're working on uh, Jarrell B. Baby Miller taking on Krubrat Puev. And, um, you know, that, that seems to be a good co-feature. And now that, uh, you know, Eddie Hearn with Gary O'Sullivan, he said it's not O'Sullivan. He knows he'll fight anybody. It's boxing politics and his handlers. That's uh, making it hard to make Danny Jacobs versus O'Sullivan. So uh, maybe Andrade gets his wish. He said he'd love to fight uh, Gary O'Sullivan. So we'll see what happens with, with O'Sullivan if this, you know, holds uh, true. That now that Danny Jacobs is looking to uh, face Andy Lee, um, that's what Eddie Hearn wants from him. And in Brooklyn, New York at the Barclays Center, I believe it is. And he got to remember, man, this dude is not a UK guy. He needs to be facing American competition. You know, we don't want to see him versus Andy Lee, you know, or Gary O'Sullivan. We'd rather see him versus Andrade um, or Andrade, however you guys want to see it. Jamel Charlo. I mean, Jamal Charlo to be exact. Or Jamel Charlo. I mean, if you want to step up. I mean, you know, somebody that we, we've seen on our TV, even Billy Joe Saunders, you know. Um, but we, we know this is how it works. They want to play prevent defense until, you know, they can get their rematch at, at Triple G or get a shot at Canelo or something of that nature. And it has to be a title shot for them to take that risk. And Eddie Hearn is just doing his job in, in protecting and promoting his fighter and protecting and promoting HBO's uh, investment, which they invested a five- or six-fight deal in Danny Jacobs. His first fight in that deal was versus Luis Arias. And, um... You know, Andy Lee is a guy that has been on HBO before, um, had an epic fight on PBC with, with uh, Peter Quillen, had a good knockout of John Jackson. Last time we really seen him, he got beat uh, by Billy Joe Saunders. He's fought one since then, last March on, um, on uh, you know, St. Patrick's Day weekend. So, um, you know, it's not a guy that we haven't seen too much often of, of lately, but um, it's a fight. It's not a main event type fight. But um, you know, Andy Lee is a known commodity. I mean, I mean, I don't know who I like better, him or Gary O'Sullivan. They both suck, in my opinion, as opponents. But you gotta understand, they're trying to save Danny Jacobs for a potential Triple G rematch or a Canelo fight or something big and a title shot down the line. He will not be taking any risks until he gets the title shot down the line. And the risk that he wanted to take in Billy Joe Saunders, I mean, yeah, it was for a title shot. That's why he wanted to take that risk. He would not be any risky fights until we get a title shot. And those are the orders of Eddie Hearn. He's probably taking those orders from HBO as well. You know, and they want to invest in this. And uh, hopefully, you know, this is hopefully they get some more people on this undercard. Because, you know, the Miller and the Pruett fight is a good undercard fight. That's a fight that should, probably should be the main event over Danny Jacobs versus O'Sullivan or Andy Lee. But, um, you know, it is what it is, man. You know, we've seen far worse. And um, they just protected their investment. You know, until he able to get in the ring with Canelo or something like that. What would be interesting is once um, HBO forces Canelo to face Danny Jacobs, uh, you know, what they do then. You know, go to, they're going to take that ball and run up to ESPN with, with Bob Aaron in top rank. Or they're going to throw him in there with the Lion, you know. Because, you know, there's nowhere for Canelo to run, even if he beats Triple G. There's killers all, the way, all around him, you know. And it's going to have to, you know, prove his worth. And people wait, ready to see him fight somebody that's really not, you know, match made perfectly for him. Or that's not older, you know, or it's past his prime. Or, you know, a guy that, that that can box real good but can't knock him out or can't hurt him with no power. Or a limited power puncher that uses his face to block punches. You know, they want to see him versus a complete fighter like Danny Jacobs. You know, like a Jamal Charlo. You know, versus a, like an Andrade at minimum. They want to see him fight those guys. You know, a Marat. You know, Shergo Shinshenko. They want to see him in there with... uh you know, a new breed, you know, like that 154 pounds of super Canelo weight. A lot of people felt like he ducked the best competition. He ducked the athletes for real. He was really punked into fighting Aries 90 Laura because Laura punked him at his press conference. But, you know, Danny Jacobs, they're going to control, control the board. They're going to play prevent defense to his time before a title shot. And, you know, we could be mad at Billy Joe Saunders, but, you know, Billy Joe Saunders want to be undisputed and make that choo 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 ching ching burst, um, Billy Joe versus uh, Gennady Golovkin. So, um, it is what it is. Links in the description. Don't forget about us. Subscribe, share, like, dislike. We go.